for a bar talk. Uh, let's get to the shit. Actually, we can start. We can start off with the fuck shit. Let, let's start off with that. Tiana and Iman. Oh, okay. Let's talk about that. So Tiana and Iman. I feel like I should have to tell y'all who they are. <laughs> Tiana Teller and Iman, they're a married couple. They have, to have three songs and shit like that. Allegedly. One of the females that they had a threesome with ended up getting pregnant by Iman and they pretty much denied the fact that, you know, none of this happened. So, hey, let's that, that, that's off with that. But, 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 people are pointing out the fact that Iman left hard eyes in other girls' pictures. So, that kind of, kind I guess that kind of like, you know, made people look into like the speculation, but they didn't say that it wasn't true. They said it didn't happen. So, hey. Future just dropped the album, uh, and wow, wow, I don't, I haven't listened to it, <laughs> I haven't listened to it, um, and that right there is a problem, because I used to be a Future fan, like, I used to be a Future head, like, all this to his Future, 56 Nights, Dirty Sprite, the joint album that he dropped with Drake, Martin, look, like, he, he, Future, that was my guy. But then, like, it came to a point where, like, his music started to become, like, really predictable to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I kind of, like, lost touch with future music. But I am going to listen to the album. Besides that, um, Future did interviews. He's talking about a whole lot of stuff. I never really hear Future talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never really hear Future talk. So this right here is it, it, it's, it's, it's new. It's new for me. Uh, his interview, he was talking about his relationship with Rocco, and he started talking about, you know, the whole relationship with him and Sierra, and he started talking about her and Russell's relationship, and he pretty much said that Russell does whatever Sierra tells him to do. I mean, this is see wife isn't a bad thing, but, I mean, hey, whatever. Then they talked about Russell meeting Future's son for Future's consent. And I understand you're concerned about that, but like, there's really no but. I understand you're concerned about that. But moving on. So Soldier Boy has had a press run recently due to all of his public antics. He got into a big. Dex on Instagram. Look, what you ass, nigga? What you want to do, nigga? Hey. Nigga, what you want to do, nigga? Nigga, nigga. Tell nigga you put what you want to do, nigga? Nigga, you a bitch. Nigga, you a fan, nigga. You a fan, nigga. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, nigga. Hey, look, when I see you, Don't get no game back. You ain't gonna do shit, nigga. On my mama, you ain't gonna do shit, nigga. I'm gonna slap you. Nigga, on my mama, you ain't gonna do shit, nigga. Nigga, on my mama, you ain't gonna do shit, nigga. What? What you ain't gonna do shit, what? Coke, head ass, What you ain't gonna do shit, what? All I seen, I didn't even listen to this shit, but all I seen was just a whole bunch of this. Niggas doing this on live. Like, y'all niggas finna fight over the internet? Like, this is what we finna do? Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what y'all niggas get out of arguing with each other on live and doing all this shit and, and, and all that, but, um, yeah. <laughs> That's that. Soldier Boy, we keep trolling. I fuck with Soldier Boy. I, 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 regardless of all the antics and all that shit, bro, like, I, I fuck with Soldier Boy, so you keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, you, you secure your bag. <laughs> secure your bag, bro. Do what you gotta do. Christopher Brown. So for those who don't know about what's been going on with Chris Brown lately, I tell you. Chris Brown was arrested in France after a woman claimed he raped her at a hotel. Chris Brown and two members of his team have been taken into custody held over allegations of rape. According to TMZ, a woman told French officials that she met Chris Brown on the night of January 15th at Club Le Crystal and later went back to the Mandarin Ho Oriental Hotel, excuse me, where she was raped. Then, it comes out that Chris Brown was released without any charges. Then, Chris Brown and other people were pretty much saying that this was not true. This woman was not real. She was lying. I have a big issue with women who have consensual sex with guys. And I'm not talking about like con consensual by intimidation. 
I'm not talking about, oh, he kept asking me, he kept asking you to have sex and then you felt like you had to say yeah. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the females who throw themselves at these dudes, who, who wait outside of concerts and wait outside of clubs and do whatever they can just to get fucked by celeb. And then later run to the officials and tell them that they were raped after they don't get a bag from this dude. And this, <laughs> this is an issue. This is really an issue. I feel like you're taking away from the females who really are going through this shit, the people who really are being sexual assaulted and raped and all of that. I feel like you're taking away from that. And I feel like for that, you need to be Tony, you need to get the fuck about, you need to be get the fuck up out of here. That's you, you need to be canceled, my nigga. You need to be out of here. And now Chris Brown has sued the girl for defamation. And I, I applaud that because, like I said, like I said, I feel like when you lie about stuff like that, you're trash. Speaking of rape, um, so there's a video servicing online of a girl in a club uh, in Atlanta, I believe. Yeah, in opera in Atlanta. And she's getting raped on camera. And I don't even want to show the video because, like, it's just, it's just, it's just violation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in the video, she's screaming, "Help! Help! 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 Help!" And I, I feel some type of way about this because no means no. And where do you niggas get off? of taking advantage of females who are not coherent. And you know what though, the thing that really threw me off was the, was the, was the response that he's gotten from some of these niggas. And that, that's one thing that really kind of blew me away, the response that he got from these niggas. I seen a post, oh, hold on, I'm gonna read you what the post said. So this is the innocent woman who was raped. Looks pretty inviting to me, look at how she presents herself to the public. Why the fuck does it matter? how a female addresses. When a female gets raped, when she's the victim, how do y'all put that back to her? Just because a female, just because a female got her titties out, got her stomach out, bro, that do not mean that she want to be violated in any kind of way. It don't matter how a female dress. It don't matter how a female dress. A female can be the most self-respected female and still walk around here with her titties out, still walk around with her stomach out. And it could be a female, it, it, it could be the biggest freak walking around, clothed up from head to toe, covered up. I, I, I just don't understand. Like, I just don't understand why it has to be about, oh, well, she, she dresses very provocative and this and that. And she, it looks very inviting to me. You can't do that. You can't do that. A female dresses however she wants to dress. She should not have to walk around here being afraid to wear certain things because a nigga gotta because a nigga gonna try to violate her. Like she should not have to do that. And I'm tired of y'all niggas doing that shit. Why do y'all niggas feel like it's okay to just violate females in any kind of way just because she's revealed? That don't mean shit. This shit right there, it worries. It worries. It worries me. It makes me, it makes me worry for my my niece, my little cousins, my sisters, like like everybody in my family, like even even older people, even my mother, like it, it, it makes me work for every female in my family, and you know why? Cause the niggas like that. I don't understand why niggas like that. Don't understand why niggas like me feel the way we feel about shit like that. Because every time a nigga jump and he defends a female who, who's been a victim of any kind of abuse or any kind of assault. It's always, uh, like, you you taking up for the girl, sign, uh, you a pussy. Nah, ain't nothing more pussy than a nigga that gotta take advantage of a female when she not coherent. Ain't nothing more pussy than a nigga that gotta put a female on on a drink or put her on a pill just so he can fuck. Ain't nothing more pussy than that. It sounds very coward-like. It sounds like a nigga who don't know how to take no for an answer. It sounds like a nigga who's, who, who's going to be embarrassed if a female turn him down. Like, if I'm trying to cop a feel on a female and she like, nah, I'm walking away. We ain't doing that. Like, why do y'all niggas not know what no, 
what the fuck no means. When y'all niggas have kids, y'all wanna see. That's all I'm saying. I don't even got kids, but I see how this shit work. Cause right is right and wrong is wrong. But some of y'all niggas you ain't gonna hit y'all until y'all got kids. You need, some of y'all niggas y'all got kids and y'all still thinking that way. But it ain't gonna change y'all until it happens to one of your kids. Niggas don't be caring until it happens to their kids, it happens to their sister, it happens to their mother, it happens to anybody. Like niggas don't be caring until it happens until it, until it happens to them. Or or your loved ones. I don't know, but like if you think like that, man, that shit is sick. A female has gotten great. And it's proof that she's gotten great. The first thing that you should not revert back to is fuck, you were dressed in this certain way, so people would be very inviting. Nigga, respect everybody's privacy, respect everybody's space. And I, I got a question for the niggas who talk that shit, who talk about, oh well, she was just very she was just very like revealing. You out, you got your shirt off, you got on sweats. A uh, female welcome to you when she grabbed your men's. You, you won't be okay with that? I don't have kids yet. I'm not a parent. But all I'm saying is, y'all better raise y'all kids right, bro. Y'all need to raise y'all kids right. Because that'll be mine. I'm glad you take charge over mine. Like, I'm not a, not a puppy. Yo, did y'all see the video of, 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 of the lady, the mistress, showing up to a wedding with the wedding dress? <laughs> She looks a little like, it's still like a little, little thing of the fry. She looked mad calm. But like, if uh, if I'm getting married to my wife, and a nigga walks in with a tux on, the wedding's gonna turn into a funeral. That's all I'm saying. It's, it's been an interesting world out here lately. So, first of all, I wanna say, where the fuck's my W2s at? I'm tired of this shit. Um, a few kids in Florida were having like a, 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 a protest and um, they're riding in bikes in the street and um, one of the ladies got out of the car and pretty much tried to press the kids and following up, some guy comes up waving a gun. Hey, 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 touch you. You get you get you I'll see y'all later, man. I'm out.